I haven't done this for a while now, haven't I? I've, I've <laughs> we haven't done this for a week. Okay, how's it going everyone? My name is Ori Players. welcome back to the 100 day drawing challenge. This is now day 18. I feel like I am gonna just change the name of the series to just drawing for 100 days. Because I realized that I can't draw every day for 100 days. There are gonna be times where my body just won't let me. Just drawing for 100 days is fine. And then... In between, I feel I feel like I can mix in like gaming videos and stuff. Just do whatever I feel is right for that day. But today, uh, I felt like continuing it. And what we're doing, we are gonna be drawing some heads in in different angles because I suck. I suck at drawing heads in different angles. Let me, for example, bring up the piece we did for day 17, which was that big May May piece. Yes, this one. There's a lot of wrong with it, but the rendering is really awesome. I loved, I loved just rendering it. I feel like that's the funnest part. The line art as well was really nice and therapeutic. But this here, the face, it is a doo-doo. It is very doo-doo. So if I draw over the top of all of this, extract the layer on top of everything. And then we can just um, draw our little corrections in red, right here, like this. So if we draw the head, I've tried learning how to draw Loomis as well, by the way. So if you try to draw the cranium, the cranium will be somewhere, let's see, the cranium will be somewhere here. See how the head like completely changes the perspective of things? Um, unless we rotated the head this way and then the center line be here, right? I mean, for the most part, it's not bad, but what I'm trying to say is my proportions of like the eyes and stuff are just completely messed up because the cranium would then be here somewhere. You know what I mean? And then the ear is in the wrong place or something like that. But something about the face just looks super weird. So today I wanted to draw Loomis method, but the weird thing with Loomis method is that I don't know if it's applied to anime drawing a whole lot, because whenever I look at anime drawing, the head shape is also always almost really simple. So if I bring up some references here uh, from one of my favorite artists, Alexandra Firmina, you can see here that I don't, I don't think that this is Loomis. Uh, the, the big reason for this is that this person just knows what the head looks like from the different angles. So if I draw a red line to symbolize like what's happening here, so the draw line into the chin. This, this is kind of like a mask you get. Where, and then you have the eyes here. Usually where this little curve for the chin ends up. And then it curves towards the ear like that. So I need to teach myself to see like this and see all the planes of the face and then the ear goes up from there <laughs> and then the cranium would be somewhere here so now if I move this you can see I've broken it down kinda into its basic forms or whatever. And is this correct? I don't know. I don't know if it is, but from what I understand is you kind of can just draw a mask if you know how to draw it. So if I did this head in a different angle, for example, we think about the jawline first, is I would think about like how the head is tilted. So in this case, if I want to tilt it the other way, 
you draw a line for the eyes and then from the eyes the head goes like this in a circular direction it goes in okay and then I if we decide on the middle line we can then decide on where the chin is so like this then the thing I'm realizing is okay maybe the head's a little bit too tall there we go you could cover it out like this and then the jawline would be somewhere over here but the problem I'm having with the most is not the head shape and I'm gonna be waffling kind of a lot of this video so hopefully that's okay <laughs> um, but the head shape I don't feel like I struggle with too much the main thing I struggle with is this then like mapping out where the eyes go in accordance to each other see like cuz in this case I need to know what happens with the nose at this angle and what happens with the nose at that angle is you get something like like this where the nose sticks out of the head I in this case it won't because the middle line is right here right it probably won't and then what the Loomis method also does is it marks the hairline which is in between this in, in Loomis I don't even know what I'm trying to say but in Loomis this line is actually the brow line this is where the brow would come, right? But in anime, that's not really the case because that's where the eyes lay. Right? So I need to figure out the proportions of the eye within perspective, which is pretty difficult if I had to say. And the mouth. And I like this. But. I struggle with this a lot. I And I will struggle with stuff like this a lot. And I feel like the only way. I'm gonna get it down is if I just keep drawing uh, and just keep drawing and just keep drawing right let's just keep drawing uh, this fern that we've got here from this angle in particular I don't really know how this will turn out but I'll give it my best to make it look like fern uh, will it will it look like fern though I guess we'll find out
Okay, and there's our one little fern. Uh, and what I'm noticing is... The ear just doesn't exist where the hair is gonna cover it, like, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> the fringe is pretty good. I mean... Uh, it's so tough to get the proportions right. It's just super insane. Okay, so let's draw another character. Screw it. Let's come up with another, like, little pose. I feel like we're gonna go back to gesture as well soon. Uh, cause I've completely forgotten what I've been working on. Uh, over the week. I, ju I just completely forgot everything. Uh, it, when it comes to gesture, when it comes to... Like, my sketching. Um, how to get loose. Uh, but yeah, nah, definitely... Gonna think about that a little more. Okay, so let's draw a fern from another angle, maybe. Let's draw a fern. It's w it's tough though, because most people draw in like a three quarter view. But for example, what 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 happens if we drew fern from above? So what would the head look like if it looked like it was from above? So again. I don't- I really don't want to use the Loomis method, but I feel like it's good to learn, not good to know. I just don't feel like it applies to anime, again. So yeah, from above, we're viewing it f from kind of like this angle. If I had to draw a cylinder to show it, I'd show it like this. You're seeing it from above. So what happens with is we draw the face from an angle. The eye line's gonna be dropping below, so it's gonna be dropping pretty badly like this. Okay, and then the chin. I'm just gonna start with the shape of the head first. So the chin will be like this. The ears are gonna be above. How high? I don't know. I, I'm just throwing estimates right now. And then the fringe will be curving this way instead now. So I'm trying to imagine here what this hair looks like from above. And what I'm seeing, what I'm feeling, is that through the eyes. And then the nose. And then what the hair will be doing, okay, let's uh, Let's say this is where a scalp is. It's gonna curve downwards. And across from here. Then she's gonna have bangs. And they're like coming out. Just split it into the, like, the main areas is what I'm trying to do. It's gonna look really weird because it's from above, right? But I don't want to make excuses. I just want to draw this from above. It's like one of the hardest angles to do. And watch me be like totally wrong about this, this angle. Because I don't think any- <laughs> There's a reason why no one draws this angle. And it's because it's just so damn annoying. And just, it just doesn't look good. This would be happening behind the head. Uh, let's get rid of the ears then. There's, there would be a lot of foreshortening happening. And then... 
that's all that she wrote. Nah, uh, I don't know what else I do here. Complete out of brawl. Let's get rid of some of these lines because they're really confusing. They're confusing me. Go away. So the hair would go around the shape of the head like this on the back. I think. She has long hair like down the back. So I'd also do that. And if we draw in like the rest of the body. From the top, uh, which again is also pretty difficult. The bust, uh, and then the little lines coming out of like this. And then the feet would be here somewhere. <laughs> and then we're gonna like put a staff. Like she's holding it behind her back. So this, what's happening is everything is foreshortening this way. It's kind of what I want to show with this. Uh, but at the same time, it's pretty fucking hard to draw her hair on, at least anyway. Then the bangs. And then this little bit here. just a hard angle drawing <laughs> to draw but I I'm gonna try it I, you know what I'm just gonna try my best and then from the top you would see more of the chest and the shoulders I don't know if I made her bust too big but but hey uh, that doesn't look too bad. I feel like you'd see the legs a bit more. Even if it's just the skirt. Um, and then you'd see the, the feet. First I need to kind of see how it's foreshortening. So if I draw a box around this. Like this to show. How it's foreshortening. And we can uh, cook, All right? So, and then there, there would be the hips. So instead of curving outwards, it curve inwards towards that vanishing point. And because the skirt is that much further away, I feel like it'd be tiny. It'd be like... Like that, or something. Before giving her the... The foot. So the plane, the plane is like, you can see she's further away. Uh, <laughs> it's just a difficult thing to draw. And the staff is like really spiky in some places. It also has different elements exaggerated. So 
this is directly, almost directly from above kind of angle. Uh, I love drawing this angle when it's drawn right. In this case, do I think it's drawn right? I don't know. You know, I don't, I don't know. Uh, sound off in the comments if you think this looks fine. Uh, I don't really know. What I'm trying to draw is I'll show you guys. So if I do a side by side as so I'm trying to draw like. If I had to draw it in boxes, right? So the top of the head is like. It's like this. Then you have the body. Also converging into the vanishing point. Um, I don't know if this is like one point. So if it is one point, kind of do this and then converge in towards the vanishing point. Kind of like this. This is what I'm trying to do, right? Um, just make it vanish towards a vanishing point. Uh, her feet might even be smaller here. Kind of like that. Even. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense. The reason why that illusion was breaking is because the feet were too big. But you know, uh, that is very, that, this <laughs> is something very, that, is something very insane to draw, like very difficult. I, I've always wanted to draw these like crazy perspective angle for like any character, but I, I never knew if I'd do it right. It doesn't look bad, does it? Okay, let's try another one. This one's crazy. But, uh, this character is done by Loiza Chen. This drawing in particular. But we're gonna try draw this character doing something else from a different angle. Uh, so let's see. Let's try... See, again, this is where gesture would help because I need to come up with a pose. And I've forgotten everything to do with gesture. Fun. Uh, so in this case, her body's flowing this way, with the leg being like right here, and then the foot also having its own gesture, and then, and then this kind of just flows this way. Um, okay, let's try draw this character just head on. I don't need to go crazy yet, but let's just try draw the head. The head alone, not the body, just the head. Like, straight on. So, if we just... Do this. Uh, just split it down the middle. And then we look at the head. So... I'm gonna say the chin line is right about there. The eye line drop right there into the lower lower third <laughs> like this she has a set of pointy ears this. Okay, the nose. I've noticed that all like anime noses are done like this now. <laughs> With like shading or something. Okay, then you like kind of draw in where the eyes would go. We're using circles. That's kind of how I would do it.
Yeah, so if I drew the head from the front, I would probably make it look something like this. Uh, so she, you can clearly see she, she still has the twin tails, um, the eyes are big, eyes are big and nonchalant, and all that. The nose shadow is there. She's looking straight at you. Uh, the only thing I'd probably change are the horns. I'm not really sure how these would turn out. They would probably, they're probably behind the bangs. So they're behind this little fringe section here. Because they come out of... <clears throat> they come out of the side of the head and there's also like a sideburn kind of thing so she has no hair on the side of the head and we need to show that well she does have hair on the side but it's not like waving all over the place if you know what I mean but yeah so if I drew her from the front it would look something like that I mean is it gonna be exactly like that absolutely not but for now it's our guess. So next time we draw, I feel like we're gonna do again just gestures, because again I need to get poses back into my head first and then we can kind of draw a character from reference which is a lot harder than it looks um, definitely a lot harder than it looks but there are little tricks that you can apply to make sure it looks like a similar character. For example, in this case, you can tell it's her character because of her ears. The ears are a big giveaway. The eyes, right? So if I did the eyes a little bit more justice. Uh, the face proportions, the color of her hair is a big one as well. You can kind of hack telling the viewer what character you're drawing by just copying the main characteristics. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I kind of waffled today. I didn't really know what to talk about because again, I took a week off and now I just don't know what I wanted to talk about for this day in particular. But it was mainly just drawing a few heads from different angles, hoping to learn a bit more about that. But I feel like you'll learn how to draw a head from different angles anyway if you just do gesture. Because gesture doesn't only teach you the head. Doesn't only teach you the head, it teaches you the whole body. How the whole body's facing. Which is a lot more powerful of a tool, I'd think. I'd like to think than something like Loomis, where you're only doing the head learning the whole body kind of at the same time to me seems more beneficial than just learning it piece by piece if you know what i'm trying to say so that uh, that's what we're gonna do we're gonna try draw more full body stuff because then you can make more interesting portraits because you're posing things completely differently so yeah if you guys enjoy, make sure you smash the like button, comment down below, and welcome back to the channel. Apart from that, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.